Dave knows how. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're working on this old dump trailer. Um, this thing is pretty beat up. Nonetheless, uh, we're going to try to bring it back to life if we can. So right now we're looking at this tailgate and when I put it up in here, I can, I can get a bolt in here to latch it. But down here on this end, it's it just won't go in there. You know, this whole gate is bent. It looks like, from the best I can tell, it's bent on this top corner. Let's pull it off of here. We'll take a look. And I'll show you how I came up with, with that. Just pulling the pins out, which nothing more than a bolt. We'll back the tractor away. Okay. All right, so we've got this piece of flat steel, half inch thick. And when we lay it across these edges, we start over here on this side, pretty flat, come all the way across, still pretty flat. Go up here to this corner. I'm pretty flat, but I, I've got some gap right here because Right in here, this thing is swole out. Right in there, it's, it's swole out. And then, if I, if I come down to the middle of this thing, and I'll force this in down, I can see I got a pretty big gap right here. So it looks to me like this thing is bent right here on this top corner from about right here. At least that's how it appears to be to me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get this thing bent back straight. Doing something like this, you, you, you sometimes have to get creative. Um, you know, chains uh, can can definitely be your friend when you're doing something like this. Uh, definitely gonna need hydraulic jack or two or three or four uh, to make this thing come together and do what you want it to do. Anyway, I'm not sure how much success we're going to have. We're going to try to, we're going to initially try to bend this back. It's not going to be perfectly straight, but if it'll be where we can get it to latch like it's supposed to, that's basically what I'm looking for. Um, I'm not exactly sure how we're going to go about doing it. I've got a uh, a workbench slash a welding table is what I call it, but it doesn't have a top on it. <laughs> um, I never got that far as to put a, a top on it for doing welding, but it's a pretty stout table, and I'm thinking that I may be able to use that to straighten this thing back out. So we're either going to take this over there to the table or we're going to take the tractor over there, bring the table over here. 
probably not going to be a whole lot of talking. We're just going to get this thing done.
Well, there you go. Um, we got it straightened back good enough. Didn't even require a jack, which I really thought it would, but uh, it didn't seem to require a jack. It's not perfect. It could actually be bent in a little bit more up here on this top corner, but it's good enough now that I can actually push it up on there and you know get a get a pin in it to to latch it on here and and the bottom I can put a pin in the bottom too so this thing will hinge down or it'll swing out to tailgate material or you can just take it completely off and it's really not that heavy you know I, I started to change the configuration of this thing around I had a lot of different thoughts I thought about cutting it down here and making barn doors I thought about putting a hinge on one end and have the whole thing swing all the way around and latch on the side and then also be able to tilt out this way for spreading or fold down like a like a the back of a truck um, and I may still do that down the road. I'm, I may, I may still do that. I don't know. Um, I, it's something I just got to think about. The the pin that this thing hinges on, this one over here broke off, and somebody welded a bolt on there, and it's not exactly right. So, you know, probably gonna have to do something with that, get a new pin. I've got the old pin, so I may be able to just weld the old pin back on there. And, uh, you know, go from there and kind of hope for the best. But anyway, I just thought this might be an interesting video in case some of you guys have a tailgate that's bent or something like that that's, you know, anything is bent really. And um, in this instance, I used ratchet straps. Uh, typically, I like to use chains. Chains are a little bit heavier. But in this application, the ratchet strap, um, I actually, you know, did fine. Um, and I really wasn't planning on using the ratchet strap. I was planning on using the ratchet strap just to get it up against the top of that table so that I could come in with a hydraulic jack underneath it and jack this side up but when i've seen how much it was bending by just ratcheting it um i thought you know hey let's let's look and see if that worked and uh you know also whacking it right in here with the sledgehammer that kind of knocked that part that's humped out knocked that back down a little bit so you know, that's probably where the tweak was at to begin with, was, was right in this area right here. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.